welcome back to my channel gardening in beautiful jamaica gardening is my therapy i want to show off today my blameriad now i've acquired two blameriads in 2022 with this mother plant being the first one and she is in bloom see she's in bloom but she's so humongous there she is the medium for my blameriad because you know you can hang your blameriads on a driftwood you can put, hang them on a tree you can plant them on a tree and they will just you know they're epiphytes so they will just stay there and latch on and grow and thrive but i put my blameriads in orchid mix which is very hairy and um so it's well draining and as you know Blomeriads are kind of self-sufficient. See, they store their water and that's all they need. You don't ever need to water them at all because if you can look all the way down under the leaves, you see water. They store their water. Well, of course, if they get dry out, you can add some water to it. But generally, you don't need to because self-sufficient stores its water and that's all they need so from this great big mother blameriad i got this pup and i removed her place her in the same medium see orchid mix and there she is thriving and for matter of fact she gave me one pup and here is her baby this is her baby and I plant her in the same orchid mix and I added some charcoal to the top. Pop good drainage. And mama plant gave me another baby. So mama had this baby, this big pup right here. Then I removed her and put her in this pot. Next thing I know, three weeks later, there is this other baby. So I gently pulled her off from under here and put her in this spot all by herself so she can thrive and have her own babies. So this is one of my original Bramirian. Then I acquired this one over here. She's not looking so great, but that's a mama. And if you can look under here, she has a pup. See? She gave birth to this beautiful little girl and she is waiting right there. I'm not sure I'm going to take her off. I may leave her there so she can just thrive right where she is. And from this one, she gave me another baby. Looks different, but it's from the same mama. You know, mothers sometimes have children and they don't always look alike. So this one looks completely different from mama and her baby. But this is her baby. And this baby right here came from the same mama. So these are siblings. One, two, and she have another sibling on her that I will just leave. So these one are siblings. This one, see, you can see some of the speckles inside. And this one. Now, problem I'm having is that I don't know the names for these blameriads. I'm a newbie. So if anyone know the names for my blameriads, please put them in the description below. I would truly appreciate that because I'm new to plants, it's my therapy, and I would really like to know the plants that I'm caring for. I give them so much love that I really and truly would like to call them by their names. We love to be called by our names. So, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Thank you very much. And gardening is my therapy.